Hello everybody, this is Glenn from Metro Hobbies in Box Hill. Well, you've bought yourself one of these excellent Hobby Basics air compressors uh, and you want to put it together. Well, without further ado, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Upon opening the box, you should get four of these items. 1.5 horsepower uh, compressor with a 3 litre tank, the power cord included in that unit. You should also get the pressure gauge, very importantly, the Teflon tape and an instruction manual. Most importantly, in this situation, we need to put the pressure gauge on the unit itself. And this is where the Teflon tape comes in handy. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. Be aware, this will attach to the unit from this point to that point in the clockwise direction. So, we need to get some of this Teflon tape and add it to this system right here. Firstly, cut yourself a decent amount of tape. And in this case, we have almost 30 centimeters. Wrap it in a clockwise direction around the entry point here. And keep going around until we have a secure amount. It will self-lock with our pressure gauge Add it to the unit and turn clockwise until we get a firm grip. Keep moving it around until it locks into place. Should finish up perpendicular with the unit, just like that. And that's ready to go. Finally, we need to add your airbrush hose to the unit. And in this case, it's optional if you wish to add Teflon tape to this. And in this case, it should just go on quite easily and so forth like that. Finally, add it to your favorite airbrush. And in this case, we're using our Hobby Basics airbrush, which is also an excellent airbrush. And away you go. And now we're ready to go. If you need to adjust the pressure, it's very simple. Unlock the pressure gauge lock up here, turn it around to your desired pressure, and then relock. Our next step is to plug it in to your power point and then activate the unit. The tank will fill up and then it will automatically stop when the tank is full, like this. It's quite quiet and shouldn't take too long at all to fill up that particular tank. It is a three litre tank, so it should take only a few minutes to do so. And we can see the pressure here moving. And in doing so, we've set our pressure to about 10 to 15 PSI. Once again, adjusting it with our lock system here and then down, so forth. We can start spraying as we speak. And the air is coming out right now. On the side here, you'll see a valve, a red valve, it's a safety valve. To release the air out of the tank, grab the little latch here and pull it back. That will release all the pressure out of the tank quickly. Also, as a tip, below the tank, you will see a little safety valve. This is very important. Unlock this valve every so often to get any moisture that's built up inside the tank. Keep that in mind. Every few goes, always check that out. And that's all we need to know. Well, there we go. Hope it all works out for you. It's a great unit, one year warranty. Go with it, guys. Until next time, take it easy.